one group from alpha position another group from beta position that kind of reaction is called elimination and this is called a elimination reaction right now there are various things that we have to talk here a lot of things the first thing is the product of elimination is a unsaturated hydrocarbon alkene the product of substitution reaction was a normal alkyl group attached with the nucleophile now this uh, for this the orientation of chlorine and this hydrogen will be very important the we'll come to the orientation in a in a moment time but uh, before of talking about orientation let's talk about the situation that will encourage substitution and the situation that will encourage elimination the one thing is very understandable by now that if there is hindrance in case of alkyl halide then the substitution will be suppressed because nucleophile will have to approach this anti bonding which will become increasingly difficult as the hindrance increases but in case of uh, increased hindrance nucleophile do not have to come close to the anti bonding of chlorine right because nucleophile is reacting with hydrogen and hydrogen will always be free from one side as we have discussed moment back because hydrogen will always make one bond only so at w in one of the side no matter how much is the hindrance the other side will always be free from any hindrance so there will uh, there will be no problem in abstracting hydrogen from any kind of hindered substrate so even if there is hindrance this elimination the first step of elimination nucleophile coming in abstracting hydrogen will be fairly much more easy than than what will be in case of substitution so even if you have some hindrance elimination would be there so when you have elimination a negative charge now this here another thing that i must tell you here itself this is for the sake of understanding the mechanism i have drawn a complete negative charge on carbon i have abstracted hydrogen in one step and this transfer of electron i have showed in another step but it is not so these two steps goes side by side in one step the nucleophile abstract hydrogen as it abstracts hydrogen because hydrogen will start to get electron from the negative charge of nucleophile so it will start to abdicate its electron so it will start to lose its electron so it is losing electron so the carbon is developing some negative charge and as it is developing some negative charge side by side it will be transferring some of the electronic density into the anti bonding of adjacent carbon so all these three things will happen simultaneously this nucleophile will stop uh, abstract hydrogen hydrogen will leave lose its electron that will generate negative charge on carbon and carbon will start to move its electron towards anti bonding of adjacent carbon now all these things happening side by side this will be called as sn2 will come to sn1 and sn2 later but by and large this is elimination this is elimination reaction and now let's talk a little bit about how to encourage substitution and how to encourage elimination now if we have been given a substrate then we cannot alter this hindrance factor although when the hindrance will be greater the elimination will be favored when the hindrance will be less substitution will be favored but if we have been given a substrate and we have to carry out the reaction and if we also we have been given the uh, if we have been uh, allowed to choose the nucleophile and if we have been given a substrate then we cannot change the hindrance because hindrance will be fixed once the substrate is fixed now what we can do we can change the reactivity of nucleophile and by changing the reactivity of nucleophile we can prioritize elimination over substitution or we can prioritize substitution over elimination now how that is done we'll discuss here itself and you have to understand here itself because things are going to be a little fast from here now there are two different reactions one is substitution another is elimination now there are two different procedure for these two different reaction one of the reaction is acid base reaction in the first step that is elimination if you talk about elimination and substitution now substitution we have a electronic transfer i'm just drawing one bond not the whole substrate you have a nucleophile but let's see what happens in substitution nucleophile keeps dropping its electron into the anti bonding of carbon and this bond from of this carbon chlorine bond keeps putting its electron into the orbital of chlorine so this is a gradual slow process right and as you have studied uh, already that substitution is a 
as uh, you have studied in uh, previous classes at school level acid base reaction is a fast reaction especially when you have one of the acid or base as a strong acid or strong base the acid base reaction is fast the reason why acid base reaction is fast because in acid base reaction you have to deal with h plus and even if you have to break if even if hydrogen is not completely ionized suppose you have a del plus charge on hydrogen or even if you don't have any plus charge on hydrogen then to break this hydrogen bond is easy enough rather to break this bond when you have a bond between carbon and chlorine breaking this bond means you are transferring gradually slowly the electronic density between carbon and chlorine into the orbital of chlorine that means you are breaking this carbon chlorine bond when you are breaking carbon and hydrogen bond that is as easy as candy there's not much of a heck here because the bond is not a strong bond because the nucleus of hydrogen do not offer much attraction to the chlorine or to the electronic wave in between so because carbon hydrogen bond is a weak bond that's why it's very easy to break carbon hydrogen bond so in any reaction or any mechanism when carbon hydrogen bond is been broken in the rds then that rds will be crossed very easily okay that's why elimination would be a faster process than substitution let's see once again what happens in elimination in elimination we have a nucleophile right let's not call this thing oh for uh, for some time let's call this nucleophile when you have a nucleophile now this will break carbon hydrogen bond now breaking this carbon hydrogen bond for the nucleophile is much easier than breaking this carbon chlorine bond for the same nucleophile all right so if we can compare the reactivity now suppose the nucleophile is very much unreactive unreactive means it do not have much time to sustain itself into the system within picosecond or nanosecond it has to react and get rid of negative charge it do not have time if it does not have time then it will go via that path which will be the fastest this one is slow this one is fast if the nucleophile is highly unreactive or uh, then the ho gaya nahi हमको लगा टाइम हो गया